Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today guys I will do a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. So let's begin. We do have the Nine of Pentacles, Material, Harvest and Faith and Destiny and Wheel of Fortune. For some of you this is changing from being single to being um, in, um, you know, coupled with somebody in a partnership. And we have it again, Nine of Pentacles and the wheel of fortune exactly the same energy simply crazy i'm just saying i love when i see confirmations like this this is all about changes this is all about going with the flow accepting and allowing this is the universe kind of sending you the energy of you know what i am in control at this time and the three of cups wish fulfillment right and we have the three of swords for some of you kind of acknowledging the pain we are going through Okay, the last one, and then we'll see the overall energy. We um, cut the cards to see the overall energy that we need to focus on um, at this time. And it's the time you see uh, the video, so the reading. So main energy, main focus, mobility, motricity, patient, uh, passion, activity, um, new beginnings. And of course we have endings and we have the ace of cups oh i was supposed to take it okay um so cancer eight of wands nine of wands passion pa being passionate about new beginnings having a hell of an ending the death and the tower and the ace of cups okay so the main focus at this time, absolutely new beginnings. We live the disruption in the past. We live the, we take only the transformation out of it and we move on. Eight of Wands is triumph and success and moving forward. I love this energy. So I'm sensing we need to really attract a new beginning here. Um, see the possibility, see the transformation that will lead you towards a new beginning. And seeing kind of the hand of the universe with the tower moment saying, you know what? I took that out of your way. I did the work for you. Every time I see the tower uh, showing up, it's like, oh, the universe did my work again. And that's all right. I was not seeing it. You were not seeing it. It happens. Um, now, Cancer, this is what you need to focus on when it comes to your body. This is what you need to focus on when it comes to your mind. This is what you need to focus on when it comes to your soul, your spirit, or your spirituality. And this is when it comes to love. And guess what? The Empress, that is fertility and uh, beautiful creative energies when it comes to new beginnings. So, let's see when it comes to your body. Movement again, we do have the uh, the chariot. This is the energy of movement. This is the energy of traveling, going from place to place. This is the energy of new beginnings in a, in a different environment. So for some of you, actually, it's all about changes when it comes to your body. For some of you going through um, different challenges and sickness and, um, you know, out of balance kind of energies, this is um, you are guided to really work with the body to have uh, triumph in whatever endeavor uh, you have, whatever physical challenge you are going through, inability, incapacity, you know how it goes. And again, this is a card of movement. Some of you actually, this is what you need to focus on. You might be guided again um, because it's a very active kind of energy. You might be guided to be a little bit more active at this time. Um, and again, right, going to the gym, dancing, or whatever makes you um, a little bit more active in order to have triumph over um, whatever physical condition you might have, okay? When it comes to mind, um, cancer, temptation might be a problem, so you are, you are really um, focused on, um, you are really guided to focus on um, temptation, toxicity, this is really thought and being pessimistic about situations. This is about fear. Um, this is about jealousy for some of you. So the mind is the enemy and we kind of need to look into it because it, you might be actually, uh, your mind might be poisoning your life and keeping you 
um, kind of out of balance and struggling, right? And absolutely, there were circumstances, kind of the universe with the overall energy is saying it was a mess. The death and the tower, I mean, the, a lot of damages were um, induced kind of uh, to your life, to your situation. Um, trauma, right? And, um, and now what we need to focus on is actually the damage on the mind and how you make it work um, to be your uh, tool, right? Because that's, that's why we have emotions and that's why we have the mind, um, you know, so we kind of, uh, they balance each other. Um, and I'm sensing that right now cancer might be um, toxic at this time and not helpful. Well, when it comes to soul and spirit, we do have the ace of pentacles and this um, cancer is planting seeds um, this is a new beginning in terms of soul and spirituality this is nurturing your soul and new beginnings in spirituality baby steps right planting seeds this is the book you open i don't know the secret or the law of attraction something on the law of attraction the unconditional love the dimensions whatever whatever has you and whatever you are curious about you are really guided to plant the seed and it's a very practical one okay let me educate myself on something let me feel the energies let me start to look into i don't know astrology zodiac signs whatever whatever has you and whatever brings a different dimension uh, to your level of understanding of your life yourself uh, the struggles you are going through what makes you happy you know that kind of energy so cancer when it comes to love what do we have we have new beginnings and i'm so not surprised the overall energy you have the ace of wands ace of cups one is a passionate new beginning was one is an emotional new beginning and in terms of love the universe is really blunt and again it's a major arcana you get three you get five major arcana so we know this is like a guidance reading we know that when we have we know it's about lessons and pieces of advice um so we do get new beginnings we need to focus on a new passion a new emotionally uh, fulfilling experience a new person right a new love whatever has you now let's ask for some guidance and i'm going to use my uh, whispers of love and um, true love and we have creativity so when it comes to love we need to be creative right we need to nurture this we need to come from a place of lightness and um, um, it's a happy place right creation is a very nurturing uh, place for some of you, you need to think outside the box in order for you to have new beginnings we do have intimacy we are actually guided to focus on a sensual sexual bond on our sexual life sensual life uh, the physical bond we have with somebody we have to be creative about and we do have the sacred the sacred woman this is your um bringing spirituality in your intimate life in your uh, love life in your creative life right the sacred woman is all about spirituality and awakening for for some of you you are actually guided right to enlighten yourself uh, when it comes to spirituality and how spirituality can be used in your sensual life in your love life in your creative life now let's see the energies we put back into the flow and we have death and i'm not surprised death is as the overall energy i am learning that endings are merely beginnings so we need to put back into the flow the understanding that actually it's a transformation it's not the end of the world is actually the beginning of a new world we do have gratitude so you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you gratitude you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you we do have creativity you love to devise new ideas innovations and forms of illumination and you have creativity twice so some of you cancer you are really guided to be creative about your life to be creative about your ideas to be creative about a love situation um about your future and think outside the box and uh, take chances creativity is a very 
out of standards kind of um, energy so um, and we have pride I love myself and I see myself in everyone uh, we might be judging people so the universe is kind of saying well that's a that's a ego kind of energy so you know what I am everyone and everyone is me and forgiveness cancer forgiveness for the death and the disruption you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts 